big mama Keys in Tijuana Some call me Donna Karen or Aman Gap for the Panana For brown nose pussy crushers Cat killing lovers Ignorant motherfuckers Drop a bins on me yata This honey's got to Sweet pinata Six shot to Look him the black What up, what up? It's your girl Nudie And today I'm here to bring y'all A little makeup tutorial I mean, no, I'm no makeup artist So please do not be trying to Drag me in the fucking comments I'm just doing what I do To my face daily But a lot of y'all ask for makeup tutorials So I'm gonna bring it to you I'm gonna show you how to Snatch them niggas And I'm gonna show you how to Snatch them bitches And I'm gonna show you how to Catfish them niggas and bitches On Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter Pinterest, Tumblr, all that So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video Like, comment, and subscribe you know tell a friend about me i would gladly appreciate it because this is my new channel so that means i'm starting all over and i think i only have like 42 subscribers right now something like that but yeah let's get into it boo boo anyways i just wanted to show y'all my daughter cardi she's acting a whole fool cardi say hello to our family cardi Cardi, hey, Car okay, Cardi, a little too much. But anyways, this is my blue nose. Most people think she's a boxer because of her color and her pattern. But her dad is gray and her mom is tan and they're both blue noses. But yes, you guys, this is Cardi. Y'all probably like, Nudie, where the fuck are your bed sheets? Well, bitch, they're getting washed. And that little thing on the wall is die. Someone, you know, it's a long story. But yes, Cardi, say hi, mamas. <sighs> That's all she want to do. Hey, chill out, dude. Chill out. Thanks. Doocy. Okay, first thing that I do, I honestly do my eyebrows. Well, first I wash my face like every day. <sighs> I hope every day, but no shit, Nooney. Every day I brush my teeth and once, okay, no, scratch that. When I wake up in the morning, I just talk to my fucking self and sing songs to my motherfucking self. And then I get up and be like, okay, bitch, you got to get slayed. You got to do all of this. So the first thing I do is snatch my fucking bonnet off. Let me, well, my bonnet is put up. But I'm finally, like, so happy. Me being a black girl, I never had a bonnet. So for me to finally have a bonnet, I feel like I can walk into fucking Walmart with my bonnet on and be like, yes, bitch, I got on a motherfucking bonnet. But anyways... I take my motherfucking bonnet off, I wash my face, I, well no, I brush my teeth then, when I wash my face, first I put witch hazel on it before I wash it, and then I wash it with Cetaphil, and then I go back in with witch hazel again, sounds stupid, but the witch hazel I use is, I hope I'm saying this right, Thayer's witch hazel, and I use rose petal, this is my first time using it, honestly I like it, it hydrates my face like a lot, a lot, because at first I was using basic witch hazel, and that was just drying out my skin, because I didn't know I had alcohol in it, and I have really sensitive skin, but yes, that's what I used to, you know, what I use just basically to hydrate my face, and then I moisturize it with, I hope I'm saying this right, but... African shea butter, she butter, it's 100%. And it just helps with my hyperpigmentation because I tried Noxzema and that shit burned the fuck out of my face and left me with like a whole fucking full coarse beard. But yes, this is what I use to moisturize my face. So before you do your makeup, bitch, please make sure, one, you brush them, fu them funky ass teeth. And for two, make sure your crusty ass face is washed. Anyways, my daughter is scratching the door, but I'm not going to let her in because I know if I let her in, she's going to try to chew on my makeup. And what I mean by daughter, y'all know Cardi, not a human, my puppy. But anyways, so I start off with my eyebrows. I use a eyebrow pencil. The eyebrow pencil that I'm using is very black, and it's an L.A. girl's color. It only costs a dollar at your local dollar store. Um, Eyebrow brusher, that's what I call it. It's from Ruby's Kisses. I spent like five dollars on this fucking thing and it's okay like i hate the little fucking part where it conceals for the eyebrows because it's too silky to where it doesn't conceal too good but first oh what the fuck is that on my forehead oh a little cotton so first i just brush my brows up oh shit i barely have any brows For me to be Indian, I have no fucking brows. Like, you know, when you see most Indians, their eyebrows are bushy and really thick and beautiful. But me, bitch, Jesus, let them skip over me on that note. So, I'm going to try to do my eyebrows on here. Oh, fuck. Okay, I fucking just messed up. I just thought about something. Erase, bitch. Before I even fucking do my eyebrows, I have oily eyebrows. Like, usually when I use my, um, 
my <laughs> before I even use my eyeliner pencil I mean my eyeliner my eyebrow pencil I brush my brows up first as I just did which I'm not gonna brush the other side because it's already still brushed nicely and then I get my um Sasha Sha Sasha Sasha buttercup setting powder this is my first time using it and I love it I like love it because I love how it's a yellow tone it's very cute to me very cute but first I put some of that on my eyebrows to control the oiliness of my brows before I do my pencil cuz I'm not gonna even lie the a the LA girls uh, eyebrow pencil will have your eyebrows looking really oily like really oily so I just put powder on them on my eyebrows first to suck up the oiliness or keep it from being oily because I don't really too much like the oily eyebrows like it looks so nasty to me like I love dewy looks but I hate fucking dewy eyebrows I guess wet eyebrows like that shit looks so ratchet in my opinion for me I'm not saying no one else looks ratchet with it because most people can pull off probably oily ass eyebrows but me bitch no no and like just also not only does this powder help with the oiliness from the pencil but it helps also the oiliness from you moisturizing your face because if you try to use a pencil probably if even if you try to use other products to do eyebrows with don't know what you would call it pigment or whatever i don't know oh i fucking look like an alien now <laughs> but um anyways basically it just helps control the oil y'all probably like damn noonie how much you gonna put on so when you're using a pencil and you moisturize your face and your eyebrows before makeup, please make sure you put some, any type of setting powder that you love using on them. Because if not, when you're trying to draw your eyebrows on, it's going to be slippery. Like, it's going to be really hard, really hard. And I need something to really do my eyebrows with because it's hard for me to do my eyebrows on camera. Like, this is my first time ever trying it. And... It's not working, so I'm going to be right back after I fucking draw all my eyebrows. Shook okay? Okay, you guys. Now I'm back. I already attached my eyelashes. Attached my eyelashes. And did my eyebrows. This is what they look like right now. I have not yet blended them yet. So please do not try to fucking come for me because, bitch, I'm going to blend them. So let's get to it. So what you want to make sure is you always start off with a clean, like mine looks like it's dirty, but it's not. It's just clean. It just has makeup splats. But you always want to start off with a cute, a cute, a clean blender. You don't want to start off with a dirty ass blender. Like that's disgusting for your face if you're gonna use a dirty blender while doing your makeup you might as well not wash your face before doing makeup you know like that's just dirty like always make sure your beauty blender is clean and make sure it's damp i like mine damp because it's like when the beauty blender is damp it kind of reminds me of paint on a paintbrush when you're trying to blend your colors and make your shit come out really smooth with the paintbrush your paintbrushes are always really damp so you want your beauty blender to be damp not too damp like to where it's just like like just fucking wet to where when you squeeze it water comes out you just want it nice a nice little cool damp feeling and you just want to go in and blend your fucking brows so I'm just gonna I mean blend your <laughs> your concealer around your brows so that's what I do I just go in and blend the best way that I can at the end of the day, to me, I don't really care if I blend out my concealer too well. Uh, only because I'm going to go back in with foundation at the end of the day and cover it. So, it's like, yeah. Holy shit. My phone fell. Okay, anyways. Let's try this again, dudes. I'm so fucking cheesy. Oh, I don't like that right there. Okay. Whatever. But, yeah, just go in and blend the best way you can. And I also apply my eyelashes, like I said from the beginning, um, on. 
I mean off camera because I don't know how to do that yet where I apply them all on camera because this is my first makeup tutorial on camera I never do tutorials on camera like at all but you guys insist on a makeup tutorial so my make I think my eyebrows are perfectly fine to me they're fine okay so anyways let's get into the next step um I usually will have my makeup all in the same area but only have my highlight my setting powder and my highlight brush I mean my highlighting brush and etc so the type of primer I use is Maybelline master prime and it's the the blur smooth primer and I it reminds me of glue like when it comes out I'm gonna show you guys oh it got on me like fucking come but before you even do that just before after you wash your face like I said make sure your face is moisturized because you don't want to put makeup on and your face is not hydrated and moisturized like that's a no blow but the primer looks like glue to me and when I rub it on my face it smells like glue so yeah this is what it looks like it looks like fucking cum so I'm gonna put a lot of this cum shit on my face a little cum on my chin a little cum on my nose cuz I get really oily there and I'm just gonna put it in those areas I don't really too much put it on my forehead but I'll put a little cum on my forehead and then what I do is go I blend in the cum and I just blend it in and now I look white white people please don't try to say oh my god she's doing white face cuz bitch that's not what this is I really love my black skin so I'm not trying to be white boo boo I really love being black happy black history month I'm fucking weak but make sure you rub the cum in like really good like you want to make sure the cum is like really good into your face like massage it and everything like under the eye and the nose cracks because you know getting a little cum in the crack is lit anyways just rub it in underneath your chin and I let that sit for a little bit honestly I mean there's no point to make let it sit but to me it is because this primer like I said it's like glue so it doesn't dry like glue like to where you can peel it off but it is pretty pretty wet it's like a lotion when you put it on and it is like it takes a good while to dry lotion kind of dries quickly but this takes a good while to dry and like I said this is the Maybelline master prime the blur plus smooth and I've had this believe it or not I've had this since last year in fucking March and this little small bottle goes a long way like you don't need that much of the primer sometimes I put a lot only because I don't I have not went out and physically bought setting spray so it's like with this I don't need setting spray when I put this on it keeps my makeup in place but since I don't have any setting spray I just put a lot of it on so then I fucking love this concealer it's the the Melanie I believe that's how you say it the Melanie conceal plus perfect two-in-one foundation and I have mine in nutmeg and this shit is bomb like it says it it has it says it's medium to full coverage lightweight oil free formula long long wearing water resistant and sweat proof I work at AMC dine-in and like literally since I'm like a server I literally be on the fucking go like moving taking orders non-stop and then I may like taking orders and then br you know bringing orders and then actually hey what would you like and I get to feeling like I'm sweating but when I check my makeup I you don't see the sweat stain so it doesn't take your makeup off at all yet I remind you like I said I just started wearing makeup back again three day, four days ago I have not worn makeup since last year in July but I started back wearing it like I said four days ago and those little four those little three days that I was at work and I wore them I did not have setting spray but this it helped like a lot it stays in place it's a nice it's a nice color it's my color so please don't cover me in the comments I usually you know I'm a cheap hoe I like to budget so I don't have a makeup I used to have a makeup brush 
to where it'll just wipe my makeup on for me but I don't because you know I'm cheap so I'm like oh, I'm not gonna buy that I really want to buy one of those foundation buffer blush brushes and so some of y'all it may not look like my cover color only because when I put the the white substance on my face the white cum on my face there we go it kind of made me look more white so yes this is my color this is my shade it later actually it later turns into my shade like my forehead is dark but the other parts of my face is hella like darker or well honestly lighter to me but yeah i put a little bit under my chin you guys are probably like bitch you're putting too much shit on your face but it's not a lot honestly because it's it's coverage is full coverage but then again you know you just want it to be look all right then you get your beauty blender and you go in and blend it sorry for the car noises when i blend i usually would just like focus on one area usually when i even put before i put on foundation i really just actually when i put on foundation i usually don't do both sides i usually do one side but i'm gonna just go ahead and just put them on both sides and i just blend that out and i blend get my little mustache get the cracks get the side this side we're gonna focus on the blend and look at the coverage it looks like my skin like it's so wonderful like look at this the coverage is so beautiful like it doesn't have you it does not have you out here looking like somebody's grandma and just make sure you get all by the ear honey under those double chins bitch get all under those double chins now the forehead action you know mostly you want to try to wrap your edges if you don't want to get makeup on them but to me it'll be pointless to wrap your edges when doing your makeup because you need to put your foundation on all the areas of your face like all over the forehead so it's like pointless so if you get makeup i get makeup on my edges i don't care like you see how smooth this looks and how it looks like your skin it doesn't look like it's foundation like it looks like it's my skin like i love it i love it and i have only been using melanie foundation honestly those four days that I started wearing makeup again because usually I would buy Maybelline but I've gotten a little lighter and usually I was coconut and Maybelline but I'm not as dark as I was in the summer so I'm like oh so now people say I'm a caramel complexion but I still think that I'm a sandy like a reddish brown complexion which I am to me so you just want to make sure you like I said just blend that out and honestly guys you probably like Nuni. you're all over the place with talking and stuff but that's how I am and also a thing for people that are always like your foundation doesn't match your neck most people's necks don't match the color of their are you fucking kidding me most people's faces don't match the color of their neck and mine doesn't like my neck is really dark while my face is like light right here but dark up on my forehead area so please excuse the train so yeah oh my hair I'm on 20% close okay so you just blend that out guys you just want your foundation blended perfectly but like I said yeah your makeup doesn't always have to match your neck I say that because your face may be one color but to me you don't have to match your foundation like your neck because i don't i match it as my face like if i were to get my foundation the color of my neck i would be hella dark in the face and then when i take it off people would be like oh my god you're light one day and dark one day like what the fuck like no so the concealer that i'm using is from 
it's LA Girls Pro Conceal and I'm using it in cool tan. They ran out of fawn, which I hate because I wanted a peanut buttery yellow color. But I got it at my local beauty store. You can get it at your local beauty store, but I paid $3 for this shit at my local beauty store. I should have went to the Indians because they told me that they sell theirs for $1.99 when I bought this for $3.99. And I was so pissed. And then they didn't even have my color. So I had to get cool tan, which is okay because it doesn't look that bad. But it's like, I don't really like it too much. So yeah, I just do this. And I get my chin. Do like a little X on there. Because you know the pirates found their booty. <laughs> and then I get a little bit of my forehead. I really don't like doing it on my forehead. But I'm going to do it on my forehead. And so then I swap my beauty blender over. This is the foundation side while this is the clean side but I mean the foundation seep through to the other side which is fine with me and I just blend oh and another thing y'all can see that my lips are really glossy and juicy right now usually I don't wear lip gloss before like you know putting on makeup but I did not want y'all to see my crusty ass lip because I don't wear chapstick because I like my lips looking hella juicy I have a big ass bottom lip while my top lip is little. I always say I wish I had more of black girl futures because my lips aren't that full and big. It's just my bottom lip is big while my top lip is small. Like it's like gone. But most people are like, your lips are so pretty. I'm like, bitch, where? They're two different sizes. And I hate that. But you're gonna blend that fucking concealer in and you're gonna make sure it's blended nicely don't rush like I usually when I rush and do my makeup it turns out shitty very shitty and I hate that like I hate it but yeah make sure it's blended to what you like it should be blended all the way but some people like a certain blend to theirs like me I'm not explaining it. And then I'm just going to... I don't drag it over too much. But sometimes I end up dragging it over the concealer for under the eye. And I hate that. But it's whatever. Then... Like I didn't finish blending it. But I mean it looks blended enough to me. And I get it on my mustache and I go like this is the main areas that I make sure it's blended on like I don't know why like this side matters to me a lot this part and make sure you get that mustache girl cuz honey but anyways let's talk about my life um, my life right now is quite shitty, but hey, I'm still here, so I'm blessed. But right now, my life is hella shitty. And most people put highlight on their nose. I would, I might, but I don't know how to contour my nose, like, at all. Like, so I just keep my big ass lilo nose and i love it like it's not that big but it's big to me it reminds me of lilo with the little circle nose okay and once everything you see how that's blended out don't focus on my eyebrow line because that's all gonna go away but you see how that's blended out you want to make sure it's like really blended like really blended and then i just do my eyebrow part like this to get the harsh line away. Is it gonna go away yet? That's just how I do my eyebrows. And a lot of you guys always want eyebrow tutorials, but I can't give y'all an eyebrow tutorial. I don't know how to fucking do it on camera, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna teach myself how to do it. Okay, and then you get your any kind of setting powder that you use and I'm gonna use the Sasha sachet buttercup 
I believe this is good for black women, period. Thank you, Sasha Buttercup, Sasha Buttercup, because bitch, you came through for a black bitch, because baby, I usually would use Maybelline's press powders, but they would also have me looking ashy a little bit, even though I love Maybelline. I just wish that their setting powder, well, their pressed powder and setting powder would be better. Like, I tried their setting powder, and it was so horrible. Like, I, I'm not going to say it was horrible, but it was. Like, when I took my pictures, you would, I would look like a ghost just look, literally fucking set right here and right here and right here. And then the rest of me would be, like, brown. And I would hate it. But their pressed powder... But their powders are very nice. It gives you a, a airbrush type of look. Now, I'll give them that. But as far as the color and shit, no, I don't. I would not. Yeah, you just do that. Well, that's what I do. Hopefully, this tutorial helps a lot of you guys. If it doesn't, kudos. If it does, thank you, bitch. I just basically set powder everywhere that I highlighted and I pressed the powder into my skin so it's like I don't know how to describe it just to make sure that it gets there properly because you know most people just dab it on there like no bitch push in your face with the powder so you know it's there and it's setting that fucking shit but yeah and y'all probably like Nuni you didn't contour but I'm gonna show y'all what I do to contour now this is a highlighting brush it's from elf and I use elf's contour palette <laughs> a palette I use the elf little things I don't I forgot what color it is I just got it from Walmart you know elf is cheap uh, when I contour I just get this I mean most girls have a little brush a little nice contouring brush to help them out but I don't because like I said I'm a cheap bitch so when it comes to my makeup it still turns out good even though I don't use all the utensils most people will use like bitch we too ghetto bougie we balling on a budget bitch we're balling on a fucking budget this makeup tutorial was 20 minutes long I am shook but yeah and I just dab that shit in all over the areas that are going to be contoured. Oh, I thought my camera was going to fall. So, yeah. I just... But when it gets right here, I try to do a circular motion. So my contour is, like, nicely done. And then I just press it in. Just press, press. Just press. But, yeah. This e.l.f. The, the color that I have is the darkest color for the contouring. And this is a contour thing, I guess. But I don't use it because it's not for my tone. And then, yeah. Anyways, whatever. Shut up, Noonie. You're doing the most. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't. Like, I'm talking to my fucking self. Y'all probably like, this girl tweaking. But this is just me. Like, I'm me. Ain't no sugar coating. I'm not editing none of this video. Probably the cussing parts. Because, you know, YouTube is coming for people that's cussing on their videos. So, you're supposed to bleep it out. But, I don't know. And usually, um, I would contour right here. But my mom says it looks like I have a beard. When that happens, she hates when girls contour right there. She said it says... Uh, I fucking messed up. She said it looks like a fucking beard. And I'm like, okay, mom. So I don't really. And then I brush this off. I'm ghetto. I'm real ghetto bougie. This is ratchet. You're probably like, why don't you just get another one? Bitch, I'm cheap. So I don't have another brush. So my jacket went from clean to horrible. I know this is probably going to piss a lot of makeup gurus off, but I don't give a fuck. Then I just sweep the powder that's on there under my eye and the contour I mean the fucking highlighted areas off you see how this powder gives you like a yellowy tone black girls we need this this is for us sis this is for us I'll leave all the pricings of everything down below all this shit is not none of this video is sponsored for these products I bought this with my own money bitch my own money online or just in the store period 
So none of this is sponsored. This is none of this. None of this. So this is the look. A sweet everyday look. This is basically my everyday look like. Bitch, you look like a snack. Like, I'm out here. I told y'all I was going to teach y'all how to catfish niggas. Like, this isn't really too much a catfishy look because it's basic and simple. But I love it. I fucking love it. Now, for the best part, everyone keeps asking me, like, y'all probably like, Noon, you're not going to do nothing to your eyes above? Bitch, I am. Let me fix that. <laughs> I just get a little bit of my powder from my top. I do this. And I just dab to... set the oiliness my eyelashes are probably hella and like like I said I don't know how to contour my nose so I'm gonna put a little powder there keep the oiliness from coming my eyebrows should be a little more blended but bitch this is how i like my eyebrows if, if this cringes you out bitch i don't give a fuck this is how noony slays is a bad bitch bitch i look really good i look good so what's good what's good and makeup gurus if you're gonna try to come for me bitch please come correct because you know i look like a bad bitch right now even though these eyebrows are not fully blended like bitch get the fuck but anyways so i just dab a little more setting powder under my eyes to give me that right effect and push it right here because this is where my fine lines are i don't know if anyone else gets fine lines like i know people do but it's just to help you and the highlight that i'm using is wet and wild and it's in the color fuck the color is not even on here oh it's in mega glow there is that the name no it's precious petals oh my gosh it's right here but the highlight i'm using like i said is wet and wild precious petals 32 1b and honey i love this like watch this oh one little ass glow i love this shit oh i love it honey and i just Blend it out like my nose is already glowing itself as y'all can see without the highlight being there But then I get the little brush. I put some on my forehead To give it a glow even though my forehead's already like glowing Crazy I know Then I do right here. I never would put highlight right here, but I really honestly started to And then I do a little on my chin like that Cause I want to look like a glazed donut and just like that so this is the finished look I look a mess but this is the finished look this is how I do my makeup I tried to show y'all how to catfish but this shit is basic let's try to turn the brightness down so you can see it better this is the look with the glow as you can see but i really like this look this is my everyday look i don't know how to put sh eyeshadow on yet i usually would put like highlight in my corners but i'm not gonna do that but yes this is my makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it like comment and subscribe if you didn't like it and that's fine too but yeah if you want to see more you know just comment it below i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for viewing thank you for watching make sure you tell a friend and remember, come back to me because this page is ghetto bougie, boo-boo. We ghetto bougie. We ball on a budget. We look good on a budget. And all this shit that I use is your local drugstore, makeup, and concealer. The only thing that wasn't drugstore, boo-boo, was this setting powder. Other than that, bitch, we balled on a budget. But I will, like I said, I will leave the prices of these objects below. I will also put them in the description box. And I'll put my social medias and all that in there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you have a Shabbat. Mom ass should I do the sweet pinata, six shots, Luke Kim the black arrow.